Welcome to World Putting League. This is the match, a big one, at the Aloha Mini Golf in Myrtle Beach. I'm Rob Azola, joined by Rufus Peabody. Our champion is, is Joey Grable, and I've known Joey Grable ever since WPL1, where he reached out to me. He's from Bristol, Tennessee, big notorious B.I.G. fan. You would never expect that from, from looking at Joey Grable. Uh, but he's overall a great guy, enjoys fishing. The one thing I will say about Joey Grable and I'll let you speak to your experience watching you know, him caddy me around the course. He is an aggressive putter. And when you look at this course in particular, he's looking to ace every hole, even if it might not be a hole that is typically aceable. If we go through some of the course history here, there's some of these holes where there's only aces on them like 2% of the time, the field average. But Joey's always going to go for the ace. I think I like that type of strategy in match in this one-on-one -on -one match style is that true i mean because gary gary hester was telling me earlier that there are holes where both of them are going to be laying up on and i said well if you lay up on every hole you can't get you, you you're never going to score that 18 for sure and he's not trying to score an 18 though. he knows he's not going to like gary i agree is going to be i think a little bit more conservative and, and prudent and he's not going to make a big mistake and to lose he's going to have to get beaten he's not going to beat himself Yes, I would agree with that. So I, I think there is a dichotomy amongst these two. So Joey, more aggressive. You know, he seems like a very laid back guy. But Gary Hester, on the other hand, like, like you mentioned, it's, you know, he's more of a prudent guy. He's from North Carolina. He, this guy has, the, like, we, we prep, did a practice round with Gary Hester this morning, and he's basically said to us, there's no one who's played this course more times in the entire world than him. And he has a lower average round on this course than Joey Grable, 29, whereas Grable's a 29 and a half. He's the only player in WPL history to ace hole number 11 as well. It's just a model of consistency. And sometimes that works in this type of event where you just know you're not going to have a blow up hole. Yeah. And his favorite artist is Doja Cat. <laughs> this is a jam packed betting event. We have outright winner markets. We have hole in one over unders on different holes. We have specific hole lines listed at Bet365, Betfred, DraftKings. There are a ton of offerings here. Now, Joey Grable is the favorite in this event at minus what? 140. Now, you are caddied by Gary Hester. I was caddied by Joey Grable. I'm, I'm on Team Gary all it, the way. Team I, Gary all the way. I think that this is close to a, a coin flip. I really do. Hello, friends. My name is JT Tilly, and we are here at Aloha Mini Golf in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina where we are just moments away from two greats of miniature golf going head-to-head -to, -head to decide which of these two goats will become the undisputed king of putting. Before we get started, let's take a look at our first champion, Gary Hester. Check it out. <laughs> Fantastic to see you. Very excited for this match. Listen, I've been doing a lot of work. I've been doing a lot of homework studying up on the match today. And one of the things that I know is that Gary has lots of experience at this particular course. Do you think that's going to be a benefit for you going forward? Yes, I do. I've been here since this course opened. I was here opening day. I actually watched it being constructed. And I think uh, I certainly have somewhat of an advantage. Joey has learned the course well as you know over the years, too. But I feel like I have a good advantage, yes. Okay. Now, I have a couple questions for you about your opponent today. Uh, now, I know that uh, supposedly you and Joey are close friends. You've known each other for many, many years. Uh, but I've heard some things, and I've seen some things. There's been a, a little bit of trash talk on the Internet. We've had some, uh, some barbs thrown back and forth. And I spoke, to, I spoke to Joey earlier today, and Joey said that today he's going to kick your ass on this course. What do you have to say? All I can say is I'm in to win it. And Joey, you know, he's a great player. I'm here, he's got to come by me, and he's got to beat me three times in a row, which is hard to do. Okay, that's one of the things I wanted to mention to you was, does it hurt your feelings that your friend Joey is one over on you? No, it does not. I beat him the first time to win the first one. He barely nudged me out on the other two. They could have went either way, and today I'm hoping to settle the score and get back on top. Well, there you hear it, guys. Gary wants to be on top. Let's take a look at Joey and see what Joey's bringing to the match today. Well, kiss my grits.
Joey, how are you, brother? Good, it's fantastic to see you. I'm very excited. Step on in here with me real quick. All right, be careful with the cup here. Two guys in one cup gets a little dangerous sometimes. <laughs> guys, this is Joey, our second, <laughs> our second champion. And I have to tell you, I was and just – and third, I have to tell you, I was just talking to your opponent, and uh, he told me he taught you everything you know. The chances of you winning a, a third uh, a match against him, he said, were near impossible, and he plans to kick your ass today on this course. What do you have to say to him? Uh, I say he's got his work cut out for him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the World Putting League, and it's about to go down. Let Gary Hester kick it off here, and you can see that he's placing the ball on the right-hand side, as he showed both of us earlier. Now let's see if he can get the pace right on this one. Does he get the kick? All right, that's, that's, that's a typical leave. Joey's up here, very similar position. I, I will say, Rob, that what we've learned is that just because you, you show a little nerves in the first hole doesn't mean you're going to lose the lead. Similar line for Joey. Caught the outside of the hole, which you don't really want to do here. That's... Left himself a... Ooh, no, he's got ooh. it. That's, he's just he's got a top. Give me second putt. So I'm going to be all square through one here. And again, there is hole-by-hole -hole betting. There is in-play betting at Bet365 as well for these competitors in the outright market. That will be updating over the course of the event. The second hole here, tie is minus 1,200. And that's because this is a very difficult ace. Basically, the correct line is right next to the, the potential disaster area. So. Exactly. Gray Bill up here. Nice view of his ankle. With the claw. Double banker. Ooh. We notice here Gary with one foot up on the rock. Do you think that that is... Um, hold on. Ooh. As we watch... Oh, oh we, we, we got have our ace. first ace. Plus 700 cash on, on no tie on this hole. Gary Hester, one up through two. That is a great shot. And statistically, the first ace for Gary. At hole number two. Could be it a is. sign of things to come. Could be a sign of things to come as we move to go to hole number three, which Joey has aced his past four attempts. And again, he's just going to be aiming slightly right of the hole and try to draw it back with the correct speed. He put a lot on that. But that's why he did. He did. He went for the bank. He went for as it. As Gary told me, it's always better to be a little bit too hard because you give it two chances to go in. You can go in the front door or the back door. There you go. Joey Graybill. Wasting no time. Yeah, he's quick like this. Very aggressive. A little softer. Yep. Ooh. Oh. This is uh, a delicate putt, but you just kind of got to get it up to the slope on the left-hand side and let it trickle down to the hole. You can get it in the back door like you did today. You can get it in the front door like I did, but there's many ways. If he makes this, that's going to put a ton of pressure. Uh, if it this has a this, chance, everything funnels to the hole there. Wow. He, okay, the door is open. Yeah. So he knows he probably he probably knows he hit that a little bit too hard. But typically, if you get it up against the back wall, it's gonna have a little too much speed coming down. So this is a chance for for Joey to to claw one back. No pun intended. This has a little. It's got a lot of speed too. This should be good. Everything this should be good. Back. And there we there go. It is. There we go. All right. We have ourselves a match. When we get the glimpse of the hole is the very delicate putt where you kind of ride it up to the to the top of the hill and let it just funnel down to the hole. Okay. This is it. Oh, this this is I I enjoyed this this putt. I like this one. This is a real test of putting. You you want to you want to get as close to that ro big rock you see that big boulder as you can. So that that's I I was always a little scared that I would leave it short it, and push it into that rock a little bit. Okay. That might be a bit hard. It might be a bit hard. Nope. Uh, nope. Perfect. All right. He's making strokes back. Grable making this a match. This is. And pressure. He's putting pressure on, on Gary Hester here. Because this is one Gary expects to ace. There's nothing worse. I mean, this is just me speaking from my limited experience in this, though. Playing second and watching the person before you ace. Just an added element of pressure going into this one. Bet365 outright winner right now after that one shot. And he's got it. To your point, on, on the overall match odds, I do think a two-stroke lead uh, for Gary is, I don't want to say it's insurmountable, but minus 300 seems like a bargain to me. There, there you go. I, I think just as a, as a golf better, I know how much strokes are worth, and there's less variance in this than there is in typical golf. So, And we've seen that in the market now with Hester moving out to minus 600 on this. 
and now he's wondering if oh. he's going to get that bank, oh. and he just basically went around the hole. So what's very interesting about this is you can play it front door or back door as you can, and he's talking to himself right now. WPL markets, but I would imagine that we're down to one to two type of range. He's going for the bank. Oh, and he's got, he got it. <laughs> These guys are incredible Three putters. Three straight aces. Yeah, after you playing right. this course, yeah, he can heat up. He can heat up. All right, we're going to get back under here, underway here with hole number eight. So this is a crucial hole here where you just don't want to end up with a bad second putt. Obviously, you want to put it in the hole whenever you can, but you don't want a bad second putt, as we see so, Joey Grable up here. Lagging it up top, and that's pretty good. He, he took the conservative route yeah, there. Yeah, you don't really see the break when you're watching this, but it can really flow out to the right, and those rocks can, can mess things up. But he's up there with a good lag as well. Gave himself an easy tap in oh, to oh. move on to hole number nine. You know, this hole, they make it look so boring. Because, I, because I mean, when we play it, there's a lot more excitement. And not in a good way. So this ninth hole right here is, there's a lot of ways it can go into the hole. Which is why the tie is favored at minus 110 for this specific hole. As both of these players will be disappointed if they don't ace the hole. But the data suggests it's actually not as aceable as it looks. Gary's up here looking to extend his lead. He's taking the same line that he gave me right off that plant. Little it's past got, the it's hole. It's got a little more speed than I expected. Ooh, he caught the hole, which is not typically good. That's good. That, I think that destroys his chance of getting the back door. That is, that is the had, way. You just don't want it to catch the hole unless it's going to go directly in. Rooting-wise, I'm rooting for both of these guys, but I would like someone to win with a low score, like he, they put in a great this. round. I'm, I'm calling it his shot. It's got some speed, too. Yeah. Get to the hill, get to the slope. Also caught some of the hole, and both of them did not make on this hole, which will be a disappointment for both. Missed opportunity, I would say. I think they both hit that a little bit harder than they wanted to. I Absolutely. Think the course is playing firm and fast. Yep. Absolutely. The back nine on hole number 10. Is looking he, to move into a tie. He's looking to play off this bank, huh? He will try to play the bank. And he has done it to, to perfection. perfection. So why is a professional putter here? Yep. There's, this is what separates them from the pack. Much, much better. Field average is 38% on this hole. And they're both 60% or higher. Yep. Gary trying to move back into the lead. Got some pace. Oh. 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 Wow. There's, you don't see that every day. Is that a back door or a front door? That is. Uh, it passed the front door, passed the back door, I don't know back the, in the front door. I do not know the correct nomenclature for that putt. But I do know it was two hole-in-ones. That moves our aggregate total on the hole-in-ones to nine Two hole number eleven here, and he's go and, and we have a left-handed putt here from Gary. We do. This is unusual. Just get it down the hill. This is the safer play. Okay. That was a, a lag putt, safe play. And we talked about this in the pregame show. There's tons of ways to go about this. You can get aggressive, which brings out of bounds into play, brings the rock into play. I think Joey will get aggressive. Well, he is not. Uh, there is an aggressive line this way as well. There is. It just depends on the aim point here. See. Typically speaking, I would see Joey play this from the right side of the hole and look for the bank, ace. Be interesting to see what he does here. I think Gary might have convinced them that this way is better. Very possible. Let's see. Oh. We get the out of bounds. Wow. And that is wow, Rob. devastating. I, I did not see that coming, did you? And that's sort of why they mostly do not play from the left side there because it does bring that into play. So he's going to get spotted here, and he's going to lose one stroke. So on he's that. now putting for bogey here. Correct. One stroke penalty on that one. Okay. Makes his bo bogey putt, which, but this is going to shift the odds dynamically. He, we're going to get into some scenarios here where I call these the most skilled putts on the entirety of the course. Grable trying to make an ace here, yeah. trying to do whatever he can to come back into play. Bank Ooh. is fine. Bank is fine because you end up up here. Now, it's not what he needs. I think he missed his line a little left there. Yes. It's not what but he needs, but that's the miss. Gary can really pull away here. And and he, he's, I mean, again, we'll wait for the putt, but he's practiced this one a lot. He's very good at it. Oh, he's 
caught some of the hole. Aloha, I find, personally, has more challenging ace shots, but easier deuce shots than the Hawaiian Rumble down the street where they often play as well. Now, this is the bane of my existence, this hole, oh. which is uh, loosely referred to as the volcano. But this is a very delicate putt. As Gary Hester's up on the tee here. And now Gary has put it out past the hole. This is where you don't want to be. Now, it stayed above the hole, which is fine. You don't really want it to roll out to a side. Rob, this is a high leverage putt right here. Huge. Huge. Almost the putt of the match, I would say. Yep. And he delivered. Dead center. Dead center. Joey's aced this only 25% of the time. Quarter of the time. It works every time. Oh, oh a little he, too much speed. He caught the right edge. But, but he's running out of holes here. He's running out of holes here. Gray Bill does have an advantage on hole number 14 here. He's aced it 38% of the time to Gary's 20% of the time. Looking at the betting odds for this hole, minus 300 on the tie. If you did want to throw down some lunch money right now, Gray Bill up to 11 to 1. I think Hester's the right side. Laying 1 to 20. Hey, put down I mean, 50 I, I, to win a coffee. Nah, I wouldn't lay 1 to 20 either, though. Especially not after that. Gary Hester looking to answer. And he missed it out to the left. This would be a big one to get back. So, Rob, this is a similar hole to the one we just played, right? They're, they're going to be essentially going off a rock at, at a diagonal angle. Um, Correct. To play the bank at the play back. Play the bank. And he got it. These guys make it look so easy. They're pretty good at this. They're very good. Gary has to look and answer here to stay one up through 16. He oh, too he, nails it. He gets Got it. The, the fist pump. Big fan. Big fan of Gary aside from the Green Bay Packer fandom. But he stays one up through 16. You know, Rob... I, I thought that Gary's ball actually hit a crack between two rocks and was fortunate to bounce the way it did. I'm not sure it, it hit his line. Maybe we can ask him about that after it's on 16. Yeah. He might admit to it. He might not. We'll, we'll see. see. Okay. Did he get enough pace? He missed the line oh. there. That's unusual. He's he's laughing. He's laughing. Rob, do you think nerves are coming into play here? It's very possible. With two holes left. Yeah, every stroke matters. It's very possible that that's coming into play right now. Joey measures his two feet and a ball away from the right side there. And they're going to be aiming essentially at the cup, the right side of the cup. And it'll just curl slightly back in. We'll lose sight of the ball for just a second as it travels under the obstacle. Ah. <sighs> have a tie going into 18 we, have a tie. we are tied talk about drama and of course you can see how the friendship is here between the two of them now this 18th hole is challenging to say the least really difficult hole six under for both of them through 18 or through 17 i should say all right joey's up here to put the pressure on And he's hammered it out past the hole, and he has got it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What are we watching? Wow. What are we this, with? <laughs> he's down three through four holes. This is this has been quite an epic comeback. The, he, they, they should and, put a statue of Joey Grable up on hole number 18 here. I don't know what it is with this guy. Gary Hester to answer and to extend the match, or else this is all over. This would be a devastating way to lose. Oh, just under oh. the hole. And we do have a winner of the match between Joey Grable and Gary Hester. Show of sportsmanship here as he will put out. And that, that ball disappears into the abyss. What a, This was 
I mean, as far as a match is concerned, it did have the ups and downs. If we look at the live odds over the course of the broadcast, lots of back and forth, but seven under and six under were our final scores here. Joey wins with a 29. Unbelievable match. Joey, congratulations. Coming from behind at the 18th hole, sinking the ace. Unbelievable. How are you feeling right now? Feeling ecstatic, man. I mean, this is out of the world to win these things three three times in a row. Uh, we're gonna throw back to our to our commentary duo. Thanks everybody for watching. Let's go back to Rob and Rufus. That was the ultimate Ted Lasso moment right there. Ultimate Ted Lasso moment. You could see the respect. I, I was getting emotional here just listening to these two guys talk about one another. What an incredible performance it has been here for myself, Rob Pizzola, for Rufus Peabody, for JT Tilly our sideline reporter over here, and for everyone here from the World Putting League. Thank you for tuning in today, and we'll catch you next time.